Woo! Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. When the millions of snake maniacs run wild, brother, what you gonna do? Yeah! We got one sticker shout out to do before we get into the snakes. And that goes out to Josh Baker, Spartan Reptiles. Thank you, Josh. Great sticker, great logo. Here is his business card with all of his info. So we're gonna take a deeper look at the Pied Clutch. They all shed out except one. I think one's gonna skip its first shed. And there's one baby with a little bit of an abnormality. Her belly button didn't quite heal right. But let's just save all that and let's look at the snakes and we can compare them side by side. Okay, first we're gonna show off this little boy. This is a pastel yellow belly pied. And uh, I think this one's skipping its first shed. Everyone else went into blue and already shed. And this guy never went into blue. So he still hasn't had a shed. I'm like 99% sure this one is yellow belly though. And they're all pastel because the, the dad was a super. So that's him. So again, this is a pastel yellow belly pied. And this one is a male. He will be available once he has uh, eaten enough and all that stuff. Okay, and this one is a male super pastel hat pied. He's really bright. Everything in here is possible Gene X. I still haven't proved out the Gene X and the dad. I don't think this one has yellow belly. If you see the belly, but he is very clean. This would be a good one for anyone just starting out. And this little boy will be available too once he is ready. Super pastel, 100% hep pied. And right here we have a pastel pied. And this is a beautiful example. She has perfect saddles, all spaced out going down with one little bit on her tip. But look at those saddles. Pretty nice. All evened out. And this one will be available, you know, of course, after she's had enough meals and she's established, I made sure she's healthy. Pastel Pied. Exquisite. And this is a pastel, maybe yellow belly. It's a lot brighter than the last one, as you can see. There's, there could be Gene X at play here. So this is a pastel, yellow belly or Gene X. Maybe both, or it could just be a hyped up pastel. I'll have to get some other opinions on this. Feel free to leave a comment if you know. Let me get the other snake and we can compare them side by side. It's real evident in the eye stripes. This one is way brighter. So when you compare them side by side, the one on the left is a lot brighter. It's got some funkier sides. Like I said, this one could be Gene X. That could be my proof right there. I'm gonna monitor it, see if it keeps getting brighter after every shed. But this one will be available too. And now let's get into the real reason you all tuned in. And now the reason you're all here. Here is a super pastel pied. And uh, she's already colored up a lot just since her first shed. This was all gray when she was hatched. And just the back was yellow, those stripes. I don't know about the yellow belly or anything in this one yet. But let's look at her stomach. So when you look, you see this skin right here, how it's kind of knotted up. And then right in there, it's like the belly button should have been here, but it didn't form there. It formed down here. 
And see, when she absorbed the yolk, she was still open. So I kept her separate on moist paper towels. Then she shed. But as you can see, the scales didn't come together. Some skin healed up right there though. So I don't know if eventually that'll come together and heal up and just maybe leave like a scar. And then, if you notice, right here, she's got a bump right there. So I will not sell her as breeding quality. I'm still undecided on what I'm gonna do with her. If I'm just gonna hold her back, maybe uh, sell her as pet quality. First, I need to make sure that she can eat and uh, pass all the waste all the way through. I don't know if her digestive system is okay. Her belly button is way up higher than like the other snakes. So this one is just a little abnormal. No kinks or anything. She acts fine. Very curious. She's beautiful. She'll have a lot of pattern once she colors up. This would look good in somebody's room. So, like I said, I'm still undecided what I'm going to do with her. But look at that. I mean, this is going to be a beautiful snake. Regardless of the fact that I wouldn't recommend breeding her. Just for safety's sake. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know how the stomach's going to heal up. I mean, eventually when she's an adult, I wouldn't want to put any more undue pressure being gravid. And then with that little bump, it's like her neck connects to the top of her skull instead of down below like a normal snake. She's beautiful though. Definitely gorgeous. Here's another look at that belly. This is where the yolk went in. And this is where it looks like it should have had a belly button. The umbilical. When she was born, this skin was real tight right here. And she couldn't straighten out. I was scared she might have had a kink. But she doesn't have any kinks. See? Everything works out. She goes perfectly straight. You do see that from a side angle. You do see that little fold of skin kind of sticking out when you look at her from the side. So again, this will just be a pet quality animal. Assuming that she can eat and digest and pass all the waste out. You know, I'm gonna hold her back for a little bit longer compared to the rest, just to, you know, make sure that she will thrive. But let me know what you guys think or if you guys have experienced anything like this. Like I said, that belly button's up way higher than the other snakes, so hopefully her digestive tract is all intact and working uh, properly and all that. And let's look at some bonus snakes. Here's that double hat genetic stripe clown clutch and the two most obvious that are different. They're both single pastel. But this is the one I think has fire or vanilla or something. I don't know, you see this one's got a dorsal. It's got like reduced alien heads, like they don't have the keyholes. Whereas this one is your typical pastel over here on the right. This one's just different. So this dad, the dad to this clutch has been paired to a vanilla female. So if there's something in the fire complex floating around in him, we should be able to tell with that pairing. You know, they both have like a normal belly. I wouldn't think this one's yellow belly. I mean, their bellies are pretty much the same when you look at them. Hard for me to do it with two at the same time, but their bellies are pretty much the same. But you'll just notice this one has a lot more dorsal striping. Look how long that is from the head down. That's a third of the snake. Whereas the normal pastel is not like that so much. 
and the color difference is very obvious in person. And then the alien head difference. I mean, I guess it could just be the double hats, but they're both double hats, so who knows? If you got any guesses on these ones, throw them in the comments. I'm holding this whole clutch back, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not getting rid of any of them. There's their heads side by side. Not much of a difference. I mean, this one is lighter. I don't know, the mysteries of breeding. See, the normal pastel has the pattern that connects to the eye stripes, whereas this one, the eye stripes are ended and the black goes around. So, just little differences. Could be polygenics, don't get me wrong, but could be something else floating around in there. The mom was a killer clown. The dad has a pastel genetic stripe banana. Pastel banana genetic stripe. That'll about do it for this video, but before we log out here, Look at these rodents, man. Deans, reptiles, and rodents. This guy has quality rodents. So if you're in the California area, and I think he ships too, you know, go ahead and hit him up. I'll leave his Instagram down below and all of his information. But uh, I'm very impressed with his packaging and just the quality and feel of these rodents, man. Everything is like the exact same size, all packed nice and neat, nice Ziploc bag. So thank you, Dean. You guys go check him out if you guys do Frozen Thought. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, do something with that notification bell. Until next time, guys, rock on.